Batman Secret Fails, The Gardener, Issue 1, James Tay in the 4th with Christian Ward on art. Uh, Matt had to read this because it was Ivy related, so yep. uh, feel free to tell us all about it. Yeah, so just like the other Secret Origin issues, it's the you know origin of The Gardener and how she relates to Ivy and the Green, and uh, we find out that she's not necessarily a bad guy, but she is kind of a mercenary that puts out her her you know, her, it's not even an ability, but her science to the highest bidder. And you find out that her, you know, um, her dad is German, her, her mom was Congolese and, you know, she, they died in a car accident when she was young. And so she felt like she didn't have any connection to either side of her family. And the, um, the people that took her in were actually the gardeners that, you know, lived in, you know, next door. And so they raise her and she has this appreciation for plants and which leads to her into her field where she goes off to school to study, you know, plant science and botany where she ends up running into Jason Woodrow. Uh, and this acts kind of like a backwards origin for all of the people that we know that can, you know, that have plant based powers because it, it involves Woodrow um, and he's running a a government led program to find out how they can weaponize plants, which leads them, you know, to uh, the, the program is Alec Holland and his fiance, uh, Philip Sylvian, who is doing hybrid work, which I'm sure he's a character that I didn't have time to look up. Um, but most importantly, uh, a young Pamela Isley who is doing research into, you know, plant pheromones and how they're stronger than, than mammal pheromones and how, you know, that can be used. Um, and she's, you know, there's the page where they get introduced. It's just fantastic. Um, but those two hit it off um, and they end up uh, in a relationship and it makes her, it makes the gardener question what she's going to do because her science involves giving plant life monstrous features so she she messes with seeds and can basically turn them into these kind of they're, they're very similar remember in stranger things you had the the i forget what dustin named it but you had the creature that uh, you know that was running around he kept it like a pet oh yeah like that. season two i, I think it was season two it's very much like that and they end up growing into <clears> her too like plant wolves that she keeps around that uh, that guard her um but it, the way that that pam looks at life and just how she wants to the best for everybody and you know it makes her start questioning the work that she's doing for this government program and but she also sees that pam while in a relationship with with bella who's her real name um she's also doing stuff with Woodrow to try to get ahead. And it's, it's that that damns her into becoming one of Woodrow's experiments that leads her to becoming poison Ivy. And what's important here is that, that Titan really does make the difference that there is a difference between Pamela Isley and poison Ivy. Like when this happened, Pamela Isley kind of went away and Ivy took over and all of her kind of negative features is what went into Ivy where she started to it started just with the pheromone stuff because that's what she was working on that's what she control but the longer she spent as poison ivy the more her power grew and she could tap into plants and tap into the green and you know that's where they kind of split off is that she didn't really agree with that because it kind of lost who that Pamela Isley was and uh uh, the gardener brings up her relationship with Ivy, which she started through, you know, the faraway lens. She could see Pamela coming back out, those shades of, you know, Ivy bringing out, or Harley bringing out the best of Ivy. And, uh, you know, she was happy for her um, up until she ended up, you know, splitting and becoming this Queen Ivy, right? Because the, the good part of her died, which I'm sure it's kind of a, reference to the book that we don't talk about right like that happened um but what the gardener did was that she had 
basically put all of all of Pam's like everything that was good about her, the 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 positive aspects into the seed, and that's the seed that got grown into the ivy that we found out through, you know, the Ram V Catwoman stuff. And that's the one that they were going to use, you know, the same industries was going to profit off of and whatever. And that's eventually what she ends up remerging in the pages of Batman. Um, and uh, yeah, that, that's basically it. That it, it leads there that she's watering that seed. And eventually, you know, Pam will come back to being, you know, that hybrid of Pamela Isley and Poison Ivy. Uh, it was. I really enjoyed the issue. Like it wasn't just because it was an Ivy. It was a nice, you know, trip through, like how the green, you know, how it's been used through DC, in the past, and how maybe, you know, them weaponizing it is is it eventually, you know, like Ivy wasn't a, a creation of Pamela Isley. It was a creation of how, you know, circumstances led to her, and that ended up that ends up being why. They can restore her. So um, the art's fantastic. It's very moody. It's almost watercolory at times. Like there's a lot of pages that bright greens and you know balanced with purples and blues. Um, and of course, red. Red's the reoccurring, uh, you know, the reoccurring color motif. It's Gardner's costume and Pam's hair. So um, yeah, just really enjoyed it. So uh, I'm gonna give it an eight. Definitely give it a read when you have time because it is, you know, even even with the swamp thing kind of ties there with, uh, you know, they talk about uh, Alec Holland leaving the program because he didn't like what Woodrow was doing. I, I, just... you know, I, do, I do like the Woodrow popped up in that mm-hmm. story. I, I perked yeah. up a little bit when you said that. Yeah. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it's and just seeing where what Ram V's doing with swamp thing and, you know, the whole idea of that company perverting the green, you know, and how that's led to this new series and new characters that assume the mantle. Um, like you're talking about how things clicked into place with Batman. It's how I feel stuff's going with, with the green side of DC right now. 